Joel, don't do it. Joel, don't do it. Don't post that. Don't. I did it. Yep, friends, today we are gonna be talking about how to change someone's, anyone's behavior. This is a good one. This is a good one. But before we do, remember who I am. I'm Joel Carlosi, the super brave teacher. Join the movement. Subscribe to this channel. Like this channel. Get the word out because every time we do, every time we do, we are shifting the narrative. We are letting the world know that we are LGBTQ plus teachers and students and that we need more voice and visibility. And that's not an option. It has to happen because we're worth it. You're worth it. Thank you, friends. Now, before I get into the video on changing behavior, listen to this disclaimer. I'm not a professional, except being a professional awesome person. I'm not a professional psychologist. I'm not a professional anything. I'm a damn good teacher, but I'm not a professional. So, my advice is that if you have someone in your life who needs true help, go seek those professionals out. That's why they exist. This channel is more for people who need some advice, need some encouragement, need some positive, loving kindness sent their way, but I am not a professional. So if you need a professional, go get a professional. I've gotten professional before, it's wonderful. Go do that. There's your disclaimer. Let's get into the Something I love doing for families and for teachers and for other people who come observe me is- I love to break it down for them. And I'm gonna break it down real simple. You have your behavior. And often we're like, whew, that behavior needs a shift. That behavior needs a change. Before that even happens, before their behavior changes, start with yourself. Breathe, pause, breathe and pause, and be present with yourself. It takes you being a rock star, awesome, kind, gentle, loving person first, 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 and foremost, before you think you're gonna change their behavior. Because if you can't change your behavior, how are you gonna change their behavior? Think about that one. Think about that one. Now, you've been rocking out the loving kindness with yourself. You've been rocking out the gentleness with yourself. You've been rocking out all this stuff with yourself and you still have these people in your life and you want to shift this behavior. First of all, think about the behavior that you want to shift. Don't think about the behaviors, plural. Think about a behavior that you want to shift. Start simple. Start with something that you can get a win on right away. What's something you can shift? And then, once you know that behavior, think about two things. The pregame and the postgame. The pregame and the postgame. Not the game. The pregame and the postgame. So here's my analogy. The game is the behavior. The big action is the behavior. And that's the thing you're working on shifting. Little by little, right? But I want you to focus on first the pregame. So yes, the pregame. The pregame is everything you do before the behavior happens, before the game starts. So let's say, Something you're frustrated with is something I hear all the time, that their kids come home with their backpack and they never empty out their backpack. They just throw things on the floor and then they go to their room and they play video games. Sure, sounds like typical behavior, right? But you wanna shift that behavior. You don't want that to happen. You want that backpack hung up. You want the homework put away, all that stuff done, right? You don't wanna think about that. That's not your job. Okay, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. What do you do in the pregame? The pregame is before that even happens, before they get home, you practice with them. You practice them the behavior that you want to see. So friend, I have this special hook just for you. This is the hook where every day you put your backpack. And then there's two things you got to do with your backpack when you get home. Three things. Let's say three things. Three simple things. Three simple things. First, you pull out your folder so that mom or dad or whoever can check it. So you pull out your folder. Then you put your lunchbox in the kitchen and you empty it out for me. And then the third thing is you clean out your backpack with any extra papers or junk, okay? So there's those three things and you practice that, you pre-game it up so that by the time they get home, it's not like, oh, come on friend, you should know what to do. Oh, they know what to do because you practice it. You practice, hang it up, pull out your folder, put your, put your lunchbox in the kitchen and clean out your backpack. Those are the things you practice. And you know what? For some kids, three things is too much so you bring it down to two things. You hang it up and put it out your folder, and you take out your lunchbox. Whatever the behavior is, you pre-game it up with them. Now, any new behavior, any new habit you want to form is going to take at least 60 days. Yep, you heard that right. 60 days, especially with kids. That's two months. So, 
Do not get frustrated. Remember, whose behavior can you change? Your behavior first, your behavior first. Whose behavior can you change? Yours. So they're not gonna get it right the first time. The second time, I am still, every day, modeling for my students how I want things to look, sound, and feel in the classroom. Now I could get frustrated and I can be like, wait, I shouldn't have to do this. No, I have to because, I get to because, it's a habit that I'm forming in all of them. Now, you got the pre-game. And now let's go to the post game. Post game is all of this positive reinforcement that you're gonna give your child or whoever in your life once they do the behavior that's expected. So, now this might sound exhausting to you, but guess what? P positive reinforcement feels so good. It does, it just does. So deal with it, it feels great. So, they get home and they hang up their backpack and you say, friend, I noticed that. Thank you so much. You are helping me out so much by doing that for me. Thank you so much. Or you can just give them a little high five or a hug or a little grin or whatever you do that makes you you, that lets them know I see you. And then they put their lunchbox in the kitchen for you and they emptied it out for you and you didn't even have to do that. You say, huh, huh, friend. Thank you so much. You just made my day. You just made things easier for me. And now I have extra time to focus on my stuff and help you out with your stuff and to do life. So thank you. And you focus on that post game of really positive reinforcing it. And now if it doesn't work, guess what you do? You stay positive and you go back to the pregame and you say, friend, you hung up your backpack and that's, that's all you did. And then you went and played your video games. What do we gotta do first? Let's practice that. And you wanna know what? I did the same thing when I got home. Me and you, pretty similar. When I got home, I also threw my backpack on the floor and then I started cooking. You know what I had to do first too? Empty my stuff out and do my job. So can, you, can we work on it together, friend? And you show them that this is not just a you against them thing. This is all of us working together, working on our executive functioning skills to be awesome, awesome, awesome people. So pre-game it up and post-game it up. You can read countless books on this. I am not an expert. I am not the go-to guru of behavior. But if you walk in my classroom, you'd be like, hmm, he's figured some things out. So I'm inviting you to do the Let's same. Review, friends. How do you change someone's behavior? Start with your self. And then think about the game. Think about the behavior that you want to shift. How are you going to pre-game it up? How are you going to post-game it up? with whoever is in your life. You're in my life. I wanted you to know that I'm so grateful for you. You're awesome. You, ugh. What behaviors are you shifting in your life right now? Let me know in the comment below. I really wanna know what's going on in your life. And let me know if it's working for you. Try the pre-game, the post-game, and I'll hear back from you in 60 days because that's how long it takes at least to shift new behaviors. But I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look out for it. I'm gonna look out for it. You appreciate your love just for being you, no matter what behaviors are going on in your life. And Joel, thanks for being you. Thanks for keeping these videos fun and funny. Keep it up. You're doing great. Bye, friends.